that must have been the um, the Phil Duberin from Ads and War who now join us in Mumble. They can explain their <laughs> questionable decision there. Hello, Admirable War. What happened then uh, in that Golden Cup at Choke? Like, he won the mids, and then you went in, and he just got duped. Yeah, that was it. He, no. There you go. Social links, and also... I managed to successfully pod the Uber. You know, so... <laughs> so, just, so uh, it got it in, off to a great start. Great in, start. Incredibly, it was, like, really, really early as well. Like, a bit. It was earlier than... Like, I don't know. I think, like, we're, we're not confident on Gullowash. It's, like, our worst map. Like, we're absolutely terrible at it. Uh, so... We're already very, very uncomfortable as it is. And then, you know, just the early Uber. And then I get really scared. I was like walking in, just like, all right, early Chris. Uber? It was a fucking trade all you had to do was it wasn't, tag the medic. It wasn't a trade. <laughs> like, you, you, you did like 80 damage. Into choke. Or... You did like about 80 damage. It doesn't matter. Maybe <laughs> if my team had performed better, it would have gone to a golden cup <laughs> anyway. Uh, can we not have a domestic in the mumble, please? <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Uh, so what happened then? Because obviously you were quite dominant. Like you won every mid on normal time in Gully Wash and in the Golden Cap, except for that very last one where you tr you did something different. You went right side, I presume, to try and yeah. It's just because of like half limit. a minute left, yeah. so we just like right. Yeah. Uh, but so you were so dominant on the mids, but you couldn't convert them into rounds. Like you won four mids, got two rounds, got pushed back. I think you pushed them back to last every single time as well from the mid. And then they just pushed you all the way back as well. Yeah, it's, it's because our God, it just sucks for us. That's all. Like if you if you talk about the map that I want to talk about, Badlands, where we performed <laughs> amazingly. That's not interesting at all, though. Uh, Nobody wants to talk about a role. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, like every single push that we did was really good. The trades were good. Nobody died going in or out. But on Gullywash, we just lost players. Um, you know, during the push, like we we're just trying to. Trade Ubers, like people just died on the flanks. We died trying to get out. And yeah, it, people just weren't, just not comfortable. We're not confident on it. And it well, just is it just it's just the map that's different then? Because obviously we saw like kind of like two startlingly different performances. I think our decisions are bad. Yeah, individually and as a team. Like, uh, I think it's just sort of. Then we, we lost. We expected to lose. I think after we'd lost a round or two. Yeah. It I was think, uh, no, slightly different atmosphere. It was pensive, man. Pensive. No, we we did. The thing is that we did better than what we thought we would do because we did lose about what fourteen games in a row on PCWs. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the logs and I was thinking, oh, what's happening here? I looked at your logs of last night when you actually played the exact same maps against the same teams, but you were running uh, Sorex and what's the name of the other guy? Oh, Lava. Yeah. So I thought that might not be quite representative of how well you do today, but you did. Uh, you did get five nil smashed on Gully Wash yesterday in your PCW. So yeah, yeah I mean, it wasn't because uh, of all of them. Our, ti our, our team is slowly <laughs> coming together in terms of like our ideas and stuff. It's just because you know we we got shot on so much for the first week and a half that things could only go up. <laughs> so what are you, what's your outlook like for the rest of the season? Where do you envision yourselves ending up? Seventh. Seventh. Seven? Not just coming above last, Saints, but... just yeah, above no. Saints. <laughs> <laughs> but not above GG. I don't know. Uh, like, yeah, maybe, if we get lucky. I think we Lazy Clanders are our closest rivals. If, I don't know, like, if, if, because the thing is, is that from, from the way that we started and how bad we were, like, it, it's clear to me that we are improving and that's it. We've had to adjust so much. Like, it's insane. Like, no one on our team was, like, originally main called for any of their teams beforehand like we had three players that have been out of practice for quite a while well, actually four players i think only me and sam played last season so yeah it's been a long long time and it's just yeah it's improving we did a lot better than what i thought it would i thought we'd just get smashed 5050 but i mean yeah you got four points didn't you so yeah we're still technically won. We're technically, we're still technical winners. I think by the all was that speak. We, we were so like happy and proud of our performance on Badlands and the fact that I almost out damaged uh, everybody with 520 damage, damage per minute. Just Don't dropping that in that. there. Yeah. Dropping that in there. Uh, you we can did. learn how to do that at warhoyear.com. Uh, but um, yeah, because we're so like happy from that performance, like we. We done a lot better. We exceeded our expectations. Everything came together well, and then on oh, Gullywash, it just didn't. 
Do you think like, the biggest difference for me that I noticed is like GDK got absolutely nothing done on Badlands, and even though he had a few really questionable moments on Gullywash last, he still he was allowed to do a lot more, he had a lot more influence on the game. Did he yeah, do anything we different? To, like? We tried to give him a chance, so it's not going to be another roll and go. <laughs> no, I think I How think it's just, just for the viewers. I think it's yeah, because just no, I think it's just because nobody's confident. So I don't think it's because he did anything different at all. The, the, it's just the fact that we aren't confident on the map, and that's we it. We just have no idea what we're doing yeah. most of the time. Like, middle's all right, idea. but nobody just listens to me. That's the problem. <laughs> You're always dying, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're just dead always. So, do you not fancy your chances when you have to play BFF on Gully Wash when you play? Uh, uh, I don't. Um, not they don't have no. Shadowburn, and he's like the best soldier at the moment. So. We might have a chance. Yeah, that's that's probably a, a good thing for us is that we only have to do with nuts and not really going to cause as much of a problem. Wow, cool make out. Eat those words. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to shit on us. 50 frags, calling it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like because we just ignored nuts and for the whole <laughs> two maps. <laughs> He just come. He just constantly flanks you and comes yeah, in behind. Yeah, just like every rocket. time he bombs in on us, it was just like, nah, don't worry, it's nuts and he'll kill himself in a minute. Um, yeah. Do you know when that game's going to be? Is there any? Is it just going to be next week at some point? Next week at some point. Are you planning to play uh, your fir- your week three game as well? Just two officials one week. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to. But I think uh, Kira said they wouldn't play Sunday and they don't play an official on Monday. Oh, they yeah, we can play so Tuesday. It's like that's Tuesday. like the day that matches for both teams. Should be a problem to set up a decent default date. ETF to all admins. So we'll probably have to play Epsilon. I'll set it for Monday. On don't worry. Sunday or Monday then. Yeah, Monday so, is fine. Can you not play Thursday? <laughs> Epsilon normally play Thursday, from what I see. I'm gonna be away from Wednesday for. Wait, what did a you week? say? You're available Sunday, Monday. They're only available Tuesday, and no, you're available we're, Tuesday as well. We're available Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. All right. So basically, you want me to set the default day for Friday? It's all right. I've actually. <laughs> I, I guess I, that's I usually the thing. You oh, know, did you fill up I used some anticipation on this and I wrote on every single um, match page that we have in the future that we can only play Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. <laughs> but I, so I've really got a backup demo, man. I can only I've play already, on Wednesday and Thursday. I've already done the preemptive uh, scheduling for us already. Excellent right. work. Uh, you have to play, uh, looking forward, you have to play your week three game against Epsilon on yeah, Badlands yeah. and nice. Turbine. Do you have any super secret strategies in store for Turbine? Have you played the map yet as a no. team? No. no. And we probably will. Has I've played so many TF2 pickups though, man. <laughs> Pickup.net, yeah. I was, yeah. I was, a, I was asking was around, around the Prem teams and apparently nobody's played Turbine at all. <laughs> no, Despite asking for serious. it. Yeah. Despite the Prem players being the ones that got the, the map in, nobody's bothered to practice it. Uh, I don't Nobody th- ever got asked, yeah. it was just admins I, putting it in. I, I can only imagine that the admins asked everybody, nobody replied, so they just thought, they must want Turbine. No, there was. There's a big spreadsheet of everybody's answers. Yeah. Just because you didn't reply doesn't mean that the other people weren't as lazy as you. Yeah. I didn't reply. Like you were in Div 1 as well, War, so you don't have a... <laughs> you don't have a say. Oh wait, I can move people between channels, what the hell is this? Stop moving people between channels. I didn't realize I could do this. Okay. So, I presume you're less confident about taking on Epsilon than you were today. I think we are not really confident against any team right now based on our okay. W results. So, I ain't scared of Epsilon, man. Check just, our logs. We just we let it go. 50 50 in the mids. 50 <laughs> 50 mids. What was the you know round I mean? score line? 50 50. It's, it's anyone's game. Jack and gems. <laughs> Believe. Okay, uh, Kadis, said we Kadis beat points out. GG well played. Kadis wants to point out that the match is already scheduled for Tuesday. So nice. don't not to worry about that. <laughs> good, good job, whoever did that. <laughs> don't worry, I'll, I'll switch it to Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have our weekend TF2, don't worry. You need to have two admins are on it. That's alright, we just fold them. Play our ban. Play our ban. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. <laughs> the sideshow has any more questions? No, that's it. I'm sick of I talking to these scrubs. I don't know if you were questions though. No, they have just been spamming for the last twenty minutes. Sideshow, you are an inspiration. You're not for Edwin flamboyant something something gay streamer. <laughs> yeah, but it's true. Did we tell you at the start of the cast that your mic's too loud again? Yeah, idiot. No. Jesus, that, that's so why Vanilla TV has more viewers than you guys, or had more viewers. Yeah, probably, maybe also have something to do with the fact that we didn't go live until about 30 seconds after you, after you went live real time. That maybe hindered us. 
Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's the end. Uh, John wants me to shout out the Highlander final tomorrow. Going to be casted by... <laughs> Calm down, Samzy. Casted by High GPS and somebody else yet to be confirmed. That will be at 21.15 CES2. So check that out if you're around tomorrow. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for playing and coming on afterwards, guys. Uh, this has been Thanks Team Fortress TV.